must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Breath of the Wild for you today as always. Just admiring this beautiful scenery. The snow so soft <laughs> softly falling. Uh, we got Pondo packing his snowballs over there. We got Cookie trying to get me to come because he probably wants an apple or he wants to get out of the cold. And uh, even Link is a little bit drowsy, you can tell. So anyways, today <laughs> we are probably going to go to the Korok Forest and uh, attempt to get the Master Sword. But before we do that, there's a couple things that we need to do. First of all, we need to go up this tower because it is so close, we might as well get the tower. And then second of all, we do actually need to get 13 hearts before we can go to the Master Sword. I don't remember if there's a goddess statue that we can pray uh, up at the uh, Korok Forest or not. There probably is, but I want to go back to Kakariko Village because there's a goddess statue and we can get the champion's tunic, which I'm pretty sure we can pick up now because I finished... Can I go up here, Cookie? I, fin I got a memory and I think you just needed to find one memory. Come on, Cookie. Come on, Cookie. No? No? Okay. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, the music stopped. I was enjoying the snow music. Man, Cookie, you don't turn very sharp. I'm like... Alright, there we go. My shrine sensor was going off, which is interesting because... We already got a shrine pretty close to the uh, stables. All right. Looks like there's a bunch of blocks of ice which we can melt if we wanted. Just by standing next to the ice with my flame sword, it will actually melt the ice. So it looks like this tower is completely surrounded by ice. Alright. In that case, what I will do is build a campfire. And that should start melting the ice. There we go. Now we just have to wait a little bit. Oh, another fallen star, dude. They keep on appearing when I just can't go get them. That one's actually... It doesn't look that far, but it really is pretty dang far. I won't be able to go get that one either, unfortunately. Ugh. I bet you there's an item in some of these flame things. In some of these ice blocks. Looks like this ice is already almost melted. Here we go. Starting the climb up one of the last towers that we will ever climb. There's only four, I think. Four left. And this is uh, one of four left. So enjoy this climb while we, while we can. Because once you climb every tower in this game, it just... I don't know. It loses a little bit of its uh, exploration factor, you know? Like, you feel like you've kind of conquered the map. Even though, you know, just by climbing the towers, you clearly have not fully discovered the map. You're just 
uncovering the the map, but you know, still, I enjoy climbing these towers, and I enjoy watching them turn from orange to blue, <laughs> and all of that. Gives you a good sense of accomplishment. There's three blue towers in the background there. That they're all lined up. That's pretty cool looking. All right, here it is. This tower is not the tallest, but still pretty tall. Finally, we haven't gotten a new tower in a long time. It, it's had to have been quite a few episodes. Oh, my tea is a bit hot. can barely drink it right now. Burn my tongue a little bit. Scanning area. I think this is called the Tabantha region, but I could be wrong. Mostly just mountains and a big field. Oh. And look at the uh, the 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 diamond or square shaped uh, maze as well. Very cool. All right, so now we have the northeastern. Oh, it's got Hebra. All right, we got that part unlocked. Now it's time to go to Kakariko Village. We actually got that, sh that tower pretty fast. Only took like one minute to get up here. Normally, I should say normally, but lately it seems like the towers that I've gotten have been really hard to get to. <laughs> Do you remember that like fortress tower that had all the drones and everything and enemies? And then there was like, most towers are just surrounded by enemies. This one didn't have a single enemy, just ice. Well, I went from the freezing cold to like a warm place. So now I'm not dressed appropriately so let's change how we look real quick let's just go full Sheikah since we're here I could go back to the great fairy fountain how many fairies do I actually have on me where where are my fairies do I not have any oh, I got three. Oh, that thing is always spawned Oh, free money. Alright, let's go pray at the statue and let's talk to Impa. For our 13th and final heart, guys. For the Master Sword. Let us pray. And honestly... After this heart container, I'm going for stamina. And I think that's the last heart on that row of hearts. So I think we completed our first row of hearts. Feels good, man. Hey, it's Paya. Oh, it's you, Master Link. P please don't sneak up on me like that. Is something the matter? Do you need something from me? What you doing? I was just polishing the guardian deities. These deities are like signposts that guide us through our lives. Master Link, I want you to know that the path you are walking down is one we should all follow. I, I'm afraid doing stuff like this is the only thing I can do to help you. I'll take those apples. Uh, I don't know, Pai. I think you could help me in different ways. Let's go talk to Impa. You're still alive! Ah. Now that you have seen some of the princess's memories, you must have started to remember certain things. Here, I will hand this over to you now, before I forget. Boom! Champion's tunic! 
In ancient Hyrule, this garment could only be worn by the one who had earned the respect of the royal family. Equipping it will reveal an enemy's life gauge. This is something of yours that I've been keeping safe by request of the princess. This, clo this clothing was specially made for you when you became a champion. Please handle it with care. Awesome! Let's go ahead and equip the champion's tunic. Doesn't look the best with this outfit. Maybe, uh, maybe with that. I don't know if the green hood matches. We might have to actually uh, get this painted. But cool! Now I actually look the part. In fact, having no hood at all is actually more looking it. Or, or the diamond circlet, I guess. And then just probably regular Hylian trousers, to be honest. The green kind of looks cool, but... These, wow, yeah, these are upgraded more. They should, they should have the stars in the pictures, not just on the text over on the right. Oh, it does put the color of the trousers. There's like a little blue bar there, too, to show that they're blue. Wait, they're green, but it has a blue bar. No pants. Pants. That looks a little bit heavy on bottom, I guess. Since we're just going for style, I'll just rock this look for now. Oh, wait. Did he have a quest? Ooh. Oh. What? Oh, I see. I just want to go home. What? I don't know what that was about. Um, all right. So now. Who are you fighting? Okay. Uh, let's go to the general store. I haven't been into a general store in for ages. Like, could buy some arrows. 80 rupees for five. How am I doing on arrows? I got 157. How come you don't sell bows? You only sell arrows. Why can I not buy a bow or a sword? You guys ever notice in this game? No shop in this entire game sells weapons. Only ammunition. Very strange, don't you think? Anyways. Let us head to Woodland Tower, off to the Lost Woods, or the Korok Forest, whatever it's called. Off to the Master Sword. My birthright! <clears throat> Wait, I do have 13 hearts, right? I should probably count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. I, I mean, I, let me count, let me count. I, I want to make sure, because if I don't, it's going to be very embarrassing. I'm going to die. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, I have 13 hearts, guys. We should be able to do this. Should be able to do this. Like, look at that tower. This one was really fun to get to. Alright, here is the path leading up to the Lost Woods. Uh, we might as well summon uh, some more Wolf Link in here as well. Alright, my animal friends. Let's go get the Master Sword. Something we've been waiting to do since the beginning of this playthrough. Um, I guess we're going this way. All right, Cookie. For your safety, this is where I leave you. If you need to, you can go back to the stables. If you're a little bit hungry on your journey, here's a couple apples. Good luck, Cookie. Zubmar, you're with me. Let's go. Now, 
in the Ocarina of Time how you got through the Lost Woods was you followed the music. But in this one, you follow the wind. Notice the fire embers? We could follow that. And if I have a torch, I could actually use that as well, but I don't. Here we go. Wolf Link, you're going to anger the spirits of the forest. Stop killing all the animals. <laughs> Wolf Link. For real though, stop. We're gonna we're gonna anger the the, the spirits of the forest. Wolf Link's just going crazy, dude. Look at the faces on the trees and stuff, they're terrifying. Going the right way. Guess we'll find out. No, no, no. That was close. I'm just gonna hide in this tree for a little while. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty much lost. I think what would be handy is if I had a, uh, a torch. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. I wanted to take a sip of tea anyways. Oh, there's a torch right there. Perfect. Perfect. That's actually what I wanted. Uh, right then. Now we can do this much easier. We can just follow the torch. We'll never get lost. Torch says this way. I really think that they did a good job making this really cool with like the, the spirit. Okay, see now it wants you to hang a right. That's where I got lost. I didn't know that. The first time I did this though, on my very first playthrough, I didn't know about the wind either and I just randomly was walking around until I found the way. And I actually did it pretty fast. I was proud of myself. Second time I did it, I knew about the wind and this is the third time I've done it. You know you're getting close when we can uh, hear the shrine. I think we found it, guys. It's right over here. Oh, yeah. We made it. We made it. 
Hopefully, we made it. Hopefully, I didn't put out my torch a little bit early. Also, we're going to be able to upgrade our weapon stash and stuff. Okay, the shrine sensor does get annoying. Hey, another Korok! Korok Forest! And do you see what I see? There it is. Wolf Link. Wolf Link left us for this moment. Had to take a picture. As if we didn't already see it. Before I talk to anybody, first things first. Oh. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. Yes, I know. Who is that? Did I doze off again? Hmm. Well, well. It's you. You finally decided to return. Decided? Better late than never. After 100 years, I've nearly given up hope on seeing you again. Even my patience has limits, you know. That look on your face tells me that you have no recollection of me, however. I have watched over Hyrule since time immemorial. Many have referred to me over the ages as the Deku Tree. That is the weapon created by the ancient goddess. The sword that seals the darkness. <laughs> I'm getting chills just looking at it. Wield against the Calamity Ganon. Believe it or not, it was actually you who wielded that sword 100 years ago. But I must warn you to take extreme caution. The sword stands as a test to anyone who would dare attempt to possess it. As you are now, I cannot say whether you are worthy or not. Man, I have a lot of spirit orbs in me. If you sought me. to free the sword in any sort of weakened state, you would surely lose your life where you stand. <laughs> What's with the reenactment? <laughs> <laughs> you just die. It's kind Best of funny. Of luck, young one. Do it, do it, do it. Like, man, I ain't weakened. I climbed a tower this morning. Let us see whether or not you currently possess said power. Sure, dude. Are you guys ready? Come on, baby! Barely got it by a quarter of a heart.
But, but it's not the true power of the Master Sword. Your master will come for you. Until then, you shall rest safely here. Although the slumber of restoration will most certainly deprive him of his memories, please trust me when I say that I know he will arrive before you yet again. If I may be so bold, what is it that you are planning to do next, princess? The Master Sword. I heard it speak to me. It seems that my role is unfinished. There is still something I must do. I sense there is great strength in your dedication. Great Deku Tree, I ask of you, when he returns, can you please relay this message? Tell him I... Now then, words intended for him would sound much better in the tones of your voice, don't you think? Yes. She misses and stabs her foot. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. So cool. I love those epic cutscenes. But for real, can I uh, swing around? Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Feels good, right? Just like riding a bike. What Accidentally cuts his arm off. Happened where you stand 100 years ago. After you were separated from the sword, the princess thought to bring it here where she knew that it would be safe under my watch. She continues to fight, trapped deep within the confines of Hyrule Castle. Her heart cascades with faith that you will return. She has a smile like the sun. I would do much to feel its warmth upon me once again. Wow. Sounds like the great Deku Tree's got a thing for Princess Zelda. The Master Sword. The legendary sword that seals the darkness. Its blade gleams with a sacred luster that can oppose the calamity. Only a hero chosen by the sword itself may wield it. Hmm. It actually gave me a weapon slot for free as well, because if you guys remembered, I was full on weapons. So I got a free weapon slot. Boom! The Master Sword, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Master Sword in Master Mode. Wow. One spin made you tired, Link. Maybe you are in a weakened state. Let's go talk to Hestu. Shalaka! It's you, we meet again! What's with the silent treatment? Don't remember me? I'm the musician of Korok Forest, Hestu. I'm impressed you found your way through the Lost Woods and made it here. So have you brought me Korok seeds? Yes. Yes. Uh, let's do weapon stash, I guess? Five? Deal. Mm. 
took a drink of tea while I was watching his dance. <laughs> da, 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 da. And then, uh... How much for another weapon stash, to be honest? Eight? That is quite a bit. But... Probably worth it. I never seem to have enough bows or shields to even fill those slots. Uh, first, let me let me expand at least one bow and one shield. See, uh, they're probably cheaper. Yeah, only two. Only two to get another bow slot. Gosh, I love that. I'm probably going to do even another bow slot. Because it's so cheap. And let's do a shield. Prop four? Alright, deal. And then the another bow slot's probably four. I'm guessing it doubles every time. Shields I, w I was full on, so that's that's nice. Uh, let's do another bow. Only three? Oh, yeah, for sure. Three Korok seeds for a bow slot? That is a very good value. Wait, does that mean it'll be only four to do another one? Oh, now I can hold a lot more bows. Bows seem to last a lot longer in durability than, like, a weapon, though. Uh, let's just do another weapon. I mean, to be honest, I, I, I need that the most often. I miss Testy, man. You find him at the beginning of the game, and then you don't see him for a long time. Unless you come here, I guess, but whatever. Boom. Thank you so much. Um, I think I'm good for now, actually. I'll just save up my Korok seeds, and then we can expand a little bit more later on. So, uh, there should be a shrine nearby here. In fact, I, I think there are several uh, shrines nearby here, but Test of the Wood, Forest Exit, Shortcut. We are actually at time, so I'm going to have to end the episode here in a minute, but before I do, let's just walk around. Okay, there's the shrine. Uh, I guess I'll activate it, but I'm not going to start it yet. And then I, I wanted to find, actually, the store. I know there's a general store somewhere around here. And I think an inn. I, let's look around a little bit. Here we go. Oh, let's get the quest. It's, 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 it's Mr. Hero! Yay, Mr. Hero came to visit us in the forest. What took you so long? Peek's thought of a trial that will make Mr. Hero stronger. You won't have to fight, and it's not scary. But... You need to be extra careful. So, I want to see a bloopy. It's a blue glowy hoppy thing that glows in the dark. Just about peak size. He wants me to take a picture of one of those glowy rabbit things. Oh, easy. I find those at Kakariko Village all the time. This guy wants me to do the trials, which we're probably going to do next episode. There's, I think, how many trials? Three or four. There's an extra tough one. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> you said if you keep doing everything without question, you're going to get canned eventually. Anyway, so where was I? Oh, yeah. The Korok Trials. Long story short, you need to visit all the shrines so that you can be considered a real grown-up. Trial one. In the Southwest Forest. Trial of Second Sight. Trial two. In the Northwest Forest. The Lost Pilgrimage. Trial three. In the Eastern Forest, the Test of Wood. There's three. If you can overcome these, you can overcome anything. We've also prepared some wonderful prizes. Now show us what you're made of. Cool, cool, cool. So much nicer in here, not as laggy. I think he sells stuff for actually a uh, reasonable price as well. Five er 
Five arrows for 20 rupees is, is very reasonable. I'll, I'll take all of them. What is this? Cane sugar? Ooh. I'll take them all because I don't have that. Probably can make special recipes with it. I have some Hylian rice. You know what? I'll just take them all because I only have three. He's selling individual apples. One apple for 12 rupees? You crazy, man. Ooh. Rush rooms. Yes, I will buy all of them. And the Stamello shrooms, I will also take all of them. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely a like if you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe for more Breath of the Wild. And yeah, I can't wait to start these sword trials. See you next episode, guys.